Hey guys, this video is going to be a sexy vampire look. So I'm going to start off, just pin my hair back. Oh, that definitely didn't work. Let's go ahead and pin your hair back and zoom in. Okay, let's see. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is take black brown paint pot. It's right here. Just a dark base again. Put it on lightly, not extremely heavy. Then go ahead and put on Groundworks. Or any color that you have that really matches your skin color. Just in the brow bone. Or all the areas that you haven't put on black ground already. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 88 Coastal Scent Shimmer Palette and use this color right here. It's a third from the right. It's a it's like a dark red color, basically. And I'm going to use my SS 252, just a flat shader brush. I'm going to pack it under my lid. Go into your crease area with this as well. Ah, something got in my eye. Okay, then I'm going to take my Smoky Eyes palette from Pop. Actually, no, where is it? Oh yeah, my Brown Eyes palette from Pop. It's available at Sephora. I'm going to take the third color from the top, which is another red color. It's a little bit lighter than the one that we just put on. I'm going to go ahead and pat this mostly onto the middle of my eyelid and get the tear duct area as well. Next I'm going to take a dome tip brush, anything like this would work, and I'm going to dip it into the red that we just used from the Pop Smoky or the Pop Brown Eyes palette. And I'm just going to line my bottom eyelid. Make sure it matches up with the top area right here. Get it to be pretty dark because we want this to show. Okay. Next, I'm going to take the, the black from my Smoky Eyes palette. Just a matte black will do. And I'm actually going to take this angled brush right here because it's more precise for me. I'm going to go ahead and lay down a kind of general area for the black to be in. I'm going to go pretty deep in here. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush, like this one, and just blend it out. And I'm going to go ahead and add some more. Okay, and then go ahead and wipe off any excess that you might have. And I've got it like on the bottom part right here. Then again, go ahead and blend out whatever you want. If you think that the line is still too dark. Don't be afraid to use your finger to kind of go back and forth, you know. They're the best tool you have. Then I'm going to take... Where is that? I'm going to take basically a silver right here. 
and a stiff brush like this. I'm gonna dip it extremely lightly and go ahead and put on put this on my brow bone. I'm gonna take an angled brush like this right here. Any stiff angled brush will do. And I'm gonna take espresso from MAC, which is right here. And fill in my brows. Any color that you have that's similar to this will work, especially if you've got dark eyebrows. If you've got lighter eyebrows, use something that's a little bit lighter brown. Never use black though, it'll be extremely, extremely defined. It'll look very fake. Next, I'm gonna take Black Track Fluid Line from MAC. It's just a gel eyeliner. You can use liquid or a pencil, but I like gel because I like the effect that it gives. It's a very smoky effect. And I'm gonna go ahead and put an eyeliner on the, on the top lid, but only up till about here. I'm gonna start in the middle and kind of go outwards. Always stretch out your eye when you put on eyeliner because that way you won't get creasy eyes. And do it for the bottom as well. I always make the outside a little bit thicker than the inside. It gives your eyes a more almond shape. Okay, just make sure both sides are even. Keep blending if you have to. Okay, then I've already got my foundation on. So I'm going to go ahead and contour my cheekbones. I'm using Blunt from MAC. It's like a dark brown shade. If you've got anything similar, use that. Just basically find the hollows of your cheeks and keep just go down and back and forth motions to kind of buff it in. Concentrate the color on the outside of here because it'll really give you the illusion of having dark cheekbones or high cheekbones, sorry. Then I'm gonna take a stippling brush because a stippling brush, the, the bristles are so far packed that they're not very dense and therefore whatever color you put on is not gonna be very bright. And I'm gonna use um, a blush from MAC called Fever. It's like a matte purple. I'm gonna be very careful with this because it's really dark. I'm going to just brush it on my cheeks, and the apples of my cheeks, and all the way back. You think it's too dark, you can always kind of dab a little bit. It's a really, really great thing to do. Just have a towel nearby and kind of dab off the excess, and that makes it look more natural. Then I'm going to take a highlighter, which is Triple Fusion from MAC. It's a mineralized skin finish. I'm going to use the top two colors and add a highlight. Get it to all the highest parts of your face. Then what I'm going to do is take a lipstick called Dark Side from MAC. It's very dark, dark red. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that. 